Hey everyone, it's Lynn's. Hi guys. It is Tuesday. Let me just move this down. And Tuesdays are our full body hard workouts. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a full body, amazing, extraordinarily phenomenal bottom exercise session. However, we're doing the top as well because it's full body. But whenever we do a really hard workout, I concentrate really, really hard on that lower half because that slims and takes off a layer. Very, very strange when I say, meet people say they want to lose weight here. What can I do? What exercise can I do to take a layer off my arms? Well, you got to work your lower half because those two large muscle groups, your quads and your glutes, are responsible mostly for your metabolism because they are the largest muscle groups. So really, really important to work those. So we hone in on those all the time and that's what we're doing today. Today you're going to need a sock. How easy is that? You know what I'm doing, guys, if you've been with me since March or if you've been with me for a while, you know what that socks exercise is. This is lifting your buns, getting that connection between your hamstring and your glutes, really risking your, uh, lifting your buns, tightening out your hamstrings, really tightening out your core, uh, your quads rather, and it is a spectacular, insane way to get your legs in shape and to burn some serious fat. Okay, and to make you a fat burning machine, which is in the end what we want. We don't want to just uh, get uh, uh, calories burned here. We want to have this last forever and for a long period of time by recruiting new muscle fibers and by making your muscles a little denser and then they require more from your body, which means that your metabolism goes up, which means you burn more fat, fat burning machine. Okay, so take off one shoe. Guys, if you've done this, you know what this feels like. This is not an amazing feeling, but when you're done, it is. Spectacular. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the side. You're gonna focus on something forward. We call this in gymnastics spotting. Spot something. Keep your eyes on that because you won't see me looking this way. As I look this way, I'm falling over, making a fool of myself. Which actually, I really don't care because I know that we can all handle me falling down and I can handle it. Okay, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna say focus on something. I'm staring at myself in my fridge, in my dirty fridge. Actually, I think I need to clean this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fall back first. So notice this. The first thing that happens here is I'm not bending my knee and going back. That would be a no-no. That means that all of your weight is positioned on your joint, which is your knee in the front. Cause for pain. We don't want that. What you want to do is you want to fall back. It feels weird. It's a little unstable feeling. Fall back first, which means my shoulders are moving backwards. See that? Look at that. If I did this, that's what would happen. My shoulders would come down. Your shoulders need to move back and then you bend and bring it back in. Everyone try that, okay? Not shoulders here, ready? So this leg is straight, this leg does not bend yet. I go back, 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 see my shoulders moved? And then I bend and bring it in. You're just sliding on that. It's really, really important to do it that way. So if you find that you're bending forward and you're not moving back like this, then you know you're doing it wrong. So do a check every once in a while because we want to address the muscles that I want to address. That's the purpose of this, okay? So, are you ready? We're doing 40, 30, 20, and in between we're doing abs and arms. We're getting it on today, right? You ready? Here we go. I am on my left leg, and I've got my right shoe off. Here we go. You ready? Lean me back. One, two, slide, three. You can do this on your mat. You can do this on your floor. You can do this on tile, wood, six, seven. Fall back before you bend. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one. Excellent. Two, I'm very loud. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Bring it down. Come on. One, your quads and glutes should be getting tired. Two, Three, make sure your back leg is bending. Four, five, six, seven. My booty's on fire. Eight, nine, and ten. My booty's on fire. My quad is on fire. I am burning up in the most amazing, positive way, and so should you be. Okay, guys, so now face me, okay? Take all your weight on the same leg that you have all the weight on. So the sock one is still the one moving. You want to do a needle nose squat. What is a needle nose squat? A needle nose squat is a single leg squat. Single legged. I'm so much energy right now that my words aren't coming out, which is typical Lindsay. Okay, so here, bend and skate it out. 
bring it in, okay? Now watch what happens to my booty when I go out. I'm not doing this. That's a really key no-no. Look it, booty goes back. Again, ready? Booty goes back. This time your chest does go forward to compensate to keep your balance as your booty goes out. So booty goes out, chest goes down, then you've got equal weight on either side of your leg. That's the whole dynamic of this one. Are we ready? Or technique. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? And one, bring it in. Two, three, point your toe on the way out. Four, booty back. Look down, make sure your knees are over your ankle only. Five, six, what are you doing, Tona? Seven, eight, nine, 10. Should be on fire. One, you got 40. Two, three, only 27 more. Four, <laughs> five, I'll tell you a story. Six, seven, eight, I'm on fire. Nine, 10, we got 20 left. One, what you got, T? Two, three, four, what you got? Get to me. Five, six, seven, my booty's gonna fall off. Eight, ah, nine, 30. 10, 9, come on, 8, 7, seriously, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, come on, come on, come on, 1, okay, I almost didn't make it, I literally almost didn't make it for that one, wow, boy, I didn't even work out before this, that felt amazing, I love when things work like that, you should feel your at booty, tight, 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 I almost said a swear word, I've never sworn on here. I almost said a word that began with A that would describe your bootay, which I won't do ever. Okay, so just do me a favor quickly, stretch it out like this, okay? If you're feeling like I'm feeling, I can't get my balance, then push it down. So number four, and push it down. That's amazing. Oh yeah, right? Love. Amazing. Okay guys, so now we're going to switch feet and go to the other side. That leg should be saying, what? Okay, that's how bad that leg should feel right now. In the most amazing, incredible workout kind of way. So not bad as in yucky, okay? Bad as in like bad A word, okay? <laughs> All right guys, are you ready? Here we go. Same thing, just a reminder, okay? Because really key, if you're not doing the proper te technique, you stand to get hurt in your knees. And I don't want you hurt ever anywhere, okay? So you don't want to start like this and bring it back. Remember, don't start like this, look at that, see that? Don't start like that. Keep this leg that's got the shoe on completely straight. Watch my shoulders. Shoulders went back first. See that, watch. Shoulders went back first and then they bent. Ready, again, shoulders went back first. It feels like you're falling backwards a little bit. It's a bit awkward, but when you get it, you'll realize that your whole body shifting down and then you're bending. So shift down and bend, not bend down and shift, okay? So it's shift backwards and then bend down. Are we ready? Hands on your waist or hands wherever you want. Spot in front of you so that you don't go flying and falling over. And here we go. One, we're going down for 40. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, seemingly easy. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten. Woo! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Almost fell over. Three, two. And one, unbelievable, okay, hi. Okay, so this one's gonna put you over the edge. Let's count to five. Five, four, three, I love you. Two, I'm getting the love eyes from my dog. One, I love you. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here we go. And side, one, two, three, four. Try and be as much on your heel as possible. Five, six, 20, what are you doing? Seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, I'm on fire. Three, four, look at your booty, make sure it's going back. Five, look down. Six, your knee's not going past your toes. Seven, it's over your ankle. Eight, nine, twenty, fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 30, one, come on, two, three, should be on fire, four, five, six, is beautiful, seven, eight, nine, 40, unbelievable. That was a little more tolerable than the other one, but that's unbelievable. Feel your leg, you should be tight. This is what's called being pumped up. We pumped you up. Bend down if you guys are familiar with Saturday Night Live, remember that? <laughs> so funny, Saturday Night Live is my favorite show on the planet ever. Since I was yeah, second grade, I've been watching Saturday Night Live. Literally, that's the only show I watch. I'm not a big TV person on a regular basis. I create TV, but I don't often spend my time watching it. But I should spend a little bit more time uh, watching it live because Saturday Night Live I don't always get it on the replay. Okay, how are we feeling, everybody? You can put your other shoe back on because you're about to take off the other one. Not yet. First, we're gonna go down, hit the floor. We're hitting all body parts doing 40, and then hit all body parts doing 30, then hit all body parts doing 20. Do not be afraid. <laughs> well, be very, very afraid, <laughs> but don't be afraid because this is what it's all about, okay? Here we go, guys. You come down onto the floor, all right? Crisscross in the back. Make sure your body's straight. I don't wanna see your booty in the air, okay? Booty in the air, like you just don't care, I care, okay? So bring it to here, and then you'll have your arms go wide. Okay, outside of your shoulders. You don't want to have them underneath your shoulders just yet. So outside of your shoulders, you're going to go halfway down, and we're going to pulse. I'm going to put my hair up. We're going to pulse for 40 in that position. Then we're going to change our position after we pulse for 40, and we're going to have our arms directly underneath our shoulders, and I'll show you how. With your arms here, not here, okay? I will come inward, and then hand over hand, and that will be our arm portion for the day. Uh, and we'll do it for 30 and 20 also, okay? So this gets hard. Crisscross in the back, arms are wider than your shoulders. Go down halfway and count with me. Count out loud, uh, uh, I'm so wired. Count out loud, please, so that you are letting your air out. Oftentimes people can't finish this because they're holding the breath. And you deprive your muscles of oxygen and then all of a sudden you get weak. Here we go, ready, halfway down, pulse. One, two, three, count me, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's excellent. Hands go directly underneath your shoulders now. And instead of having your elbows go up to the side like they just were, have your elbows come in and hug your body. Elbows go back, okay? Not side. They go straight back. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! Hand over hand. Are you ready? Hand over hand works your chest and your triceps. And are you ready? Drop it down. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That was the arm portion, okay, guys? Give it a second. Now I want you guys on your side to do our 40 rocks. If you're not familiar with rocks, I'm gonna give you something else to do once you burn out of your rocks, okay? So, where you, you're gonna start off with the rocks, I'm gonna show you how to use them. Once you burn out of your rocks, I still want you moving, okay? So I want you to do this. If you burn out, say at 10, I want you to come up here, get your hands behind your head, chin and nose towards the ground, and I want you to come up here and do the remainder like this, okay? That's really, really important so you don't stop. Okay, let's count. Let's see. Keep working your abs, because the stronger your abs get, the easier those rocks are gonna be, okay? Now, rocks are also about coordination. So you may need to be, be have the, you may have the strongest abs in the world, but you haven't really done this. Just like, you know, picking up a bike. If you've never ridden a bike, it's a bit shaky at first. Uh, you can't maybe get as far without falling off. Uh, same thing here, okay? Super, super simple. Love yourself and keep trying. Never, ever, 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 ever give up. Okay, on your side, perpendicular to the ground, Okay, and then I want you to roll over and hit your booty. Ready? On the side, hit your booty, legs go up, push off. You are one piece now, and this is a rock. It looks easy, it's not, okay, but it does get easier. Make sure you're on your booty, okay? So here we go. 
That is, we're doing that for 40. Anybody who stops at 30, 10, 15, even five, roll over and get a nice chin, nose to the ceiling, and pulse the rest of it. No, sorry, full sit-ups for the rest of it. Okay, but crunch it, it's not all the way up. All right, here we go, 40 rocks. As soon as you're done, go to your push-ups. I mean, your sit-ups. Here we go, ready? Drop it, and up, here we go. One, two, three, four, count out loud, let your air out, five, getting you a flatter stomach, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That was excellent, guys. That is not easy. I know that we, we had a time in the beginning where we did 300 and then my neck got injured and I haven't done those again, but they're coming up, okay? Because that is the best way on the planet to get a six pack, okay? Here we go. On your side and roll it over and be, hi, Mel. When did you get home? No. Just now? I love you. Did you have a good day? Yeah. My daughter's working at Panera to pay for her college coming up in March. So it's very good because it's only $60,000 a year. That's okay. <laughs> We're doing it. Here we go. <laughs> lots of scholarships and lots of work. Ready? Legs are up. Here we go. And go. One, two, three, four. Did you have a good day, honey? Five, six. Awesome. Love you. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. How are we doing? Seven, eight, nine, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, ding, 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 ding. Round one is over. Round two is just starting. Please grab a drink if you need a drink. Um, grab it now because I'd rather have you have it now while we're doing the um, leg portion so that you don't have it when you're doing the abs because otherwise it's coming back up. All right, here we go, guys. Remember the leg you started on, and we're going to start with that one, okay? So take off your shoe, and we're going to start for 30, okay? Here we go. Are you ready? Remember to find something that you're spotting straight ahead. Hands are here or here wherever you feel stable, okay? And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Very good. Tony, what are you doing? Digging. She's digging for something. Okay, here we go. Ready? On your side. Make sure your knee does not go past your toe. So get that booty back and your chest forward. Here we go. Ready? Hold and tight. Go. One, two, keep it nice and fast. Three, four, booty back. Booty back. Five. Three back, six, seven, what do you got, T? Eight, nine, ten. Woo! One, two, my booty's on fire. Three, these really hurt me. Four in a great way. Five, six, these make me burn, better said. Seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That was, that was amazing. Switch feet, guys. Switch feet. And I, re I recognize that I switch feet really, really fast. So I'll give you a second because I don't ever undo the shoelaces of my shoes. I'm a runner, so a lot of people like their shoes really tight. I, on the other hand, buy a half size too big. 
and I tie them really loose. I double knot them, and I never untie them again from the day that I get them. <laughs> really loose shoes is my feet, but the daylight's out of me when I run. And now they don't bother me at all. It's just, you know, everybody has their own little, little quirks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, guys. That's awesome. Okay, in five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do the other side. Are you ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, woo! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Thank you. Okay, here we go, guys. Put it on. Take a second. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, now we're going to the ground to do 30, 30, and 30. Okay, guys? What are you doing, T? All right, all the way down, guys. All right, crisscross in the back. All right, and hands go wide. Take a deep breath, guys. I know I'm going fast on purpose. Keep your heart rate up. All right, here we go. Arms are wide past your shoulders. Bring it halfway down. Pulse for 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Hands underneath your shoulders. We're just pulsing today, okay? Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. That's beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Now, hand over hand. It gets hard because we are not stopping, and that's where the pain in your arms come in. You know, that pain of burning, that's where it comes in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. That's really good, guys. You're doing amazing. Now we've got 30 rocks. And otherwise, uh, once you've done your rocks and you can't get 30 in, do regular sit-ups. Really do those, okay? It's important. I keep finding my cat's claws here. Creepy. Okay. Wow, T, that was a good pull. All right, guys, on your side, drop it to a booty, get your legs up and push. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Amazing. How are you guys doing? You guys doing okay? You should be nice and out of breath, nice and sweaty, feeling phenomenal, phenomenal. You ready? On your side, drop it down, legs go up, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. 
Woo! Ding, ding, ding. Round two is complete. I know you're tired, and I know that you're saying I can't do another round, some of you, and I'm telling you, yes, you can, okay? And I'm making you do it. If your technique is off, then you can quit. Oftentimes, guys, what happens is your mind gives up well before your body does. Don't do it, okay? Love yourself. Say, uh, I'm not listening to you. Whoever's sitting on my shoulder saying, stop, 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 click them off. Say, gotta go. Ready? Here we go. On your right foot, we are on our last round. Wait, go grab a drink if you need a drink. That would be mean of me. Okay, grab a drink. I'll wait a couple seconds. Last round is 20. This is gonna go by super uber fast. So if you're thinking that you're gonna turn it off, I wish I was over there to force you to do it with my whip and chain, um, my big whip. But I want you to make sure that you guys know this is gonna be a fast round and you're gonna get it over with. And because you completed something that wasn't completely easy, you're gonna feel phenomenal. And you should, because you are. All right, you ready? Here we go. On your leg you started with, mine is my left. And I'm a lefty, by the way. And here we go, ready? Le shoulders are moving back. Do not start off with a bend, slide back first. Ready, and one. Two, we're only going to 20. Three, four, five, and that leg down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, easy peasy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That was not so bad, no matter what you say, I don't believe you. Okay, here we go. You ready, guys? Let's taller I am, right? Here. You hear when you're five feet on five feet? This makes all the difference. I'm very happy with my sneakers. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on, that was great, right? Switch it over, Grover. Here we go. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? Focus forward and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. I'm so proud of you guys. Not an easy workout. The whole time you're out of breath, and it's not a workout. We only twice a week we get out of breath like this, other than our lunge walks. So maybe three times a week is so good for you to switch things up, and that's why we do something different every day. Okay, I'm really proud of you guys. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your shoe back on, come on down, meet me on the floor for our last set of arms and abs. Here we go. Are you ready? Bring it down. I'm so my floor is filthy, so I'm making sure as little as possible touching it. It is, I keep saying that I need to clean it. Right, here we go. All right, on your marks. Get set, go wider than your shoulders. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop, ten all the way down. Just do it. One, two, three, topping it off, four, icing on the cake, cake, five, cherry on top, six of the icing on the cake, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's excellent. Hands beside your shoulder, or underneath your shoulders now, same thing, ten uh, little pulses, and then ten all the way down. Here we go. One, two, elbows are tucked in, three going backwards, not outwards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are challenging. Let's do them all the way down. One, come on, push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are the most challenging ones by far. Okay, guys, ready? Hand over hand. Halfway down. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it home. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, guys, ready? Last thing that we're doing today. We are rocking. Ready? 20. On your side. Ready? Drop it down. Get your legs up and push. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Amazing. Okay, my shoe is all messed in my back. My heel drives me nuts. Okay. These, by the way, are wings. Wings on my running shoes because one of my clients and I plan to do the original marathon in Greece. And I got her a wing and she got me a wing. And we're going to put those wings on our body in the form of a little tattoo somewhere hidden after doing that. That's the original marathon. It goes from uh, Marathon, Greece, that's the place, to the original Olympic Stadium. I mean, I, I can't imagine a greater moment in terms of um, athleticism. I'm very, very, very excited to do it. Uh, we keep missing it every year. COVID stopped us this year. Last year something else stopped us, and the year before something else stopped it. So hopefully 2021 will be the year to do it. Here we go, you ready guys? Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, twenty. And come on up, guys. Woo! That was amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. You have no idea how important it is. I don't care what you look like. I don't. I know you do. And I want you guys to look in the mirror and be in love with yourself. And when I show you these before and the afters, just know that it's not about the body for me. Of course it is a little bit, but the, the whole exact discipline that you have to adopt in order to get to that body is what makes you, it's what makes the difference, it's what the character it takes, the discipline, the, the motivation, the determination, the love for yourself, the confidence that you get along the way is really what this is about. That is the end product, it's tertiary. It's the end product, the end product is spectacular, don't get me wrong, but the trivial nuances that seem to be trivial along the way that cause you to go up and down and up and down. Like, should I get up and do this? Am I too tired? Uh, do I not feel, I don't want to give up my ice cream. I want this, I want that. All those things that you have to give up really are not trivial at all. Those are what make you build this character that trickles down into every single solitary area of your life. It makes you stronger. It makes you more confident. It makes you feel like you can do anything. You know why? because you actually can do anything that you want to do and this just makes you brave enough to do it and you know most of us in here are women and we're just a little bit older than 30 uh, 35 even and most of us are older than 40 and I want to tell you this is our time this is the time to say you know what I am gonna do it and this is the first step that's why I'm coming down to the rudimentary basics for us this is the first step. If you take care of you, everything else follows suit. This gives you the energy. This gives you the vitality. This gives you the confidence. This gives you the actual knowingness that you've completed something for yourself that is going to trickle down to every area of your life and give you the, the, the bravery. I don't know how to say it. The, get, make you be brave. I don't know what that word is. Uh, at brave enough to do something that is so outside of your comfort zone that you, maybe you've wanted to write a book. Maybe you've wanted to produce a movie in my instance, okay? Maybe you've wanted to, I don't know, uh, uh, open a store. Maybe you wanted to start designing something. You know what? This is where, this is the basics. These are the ingredients that you need to actually do it. Right here, right now, taking care of yourself, everything else opens up. So that is why I'm doing what I'm doing for you because we need more amazing women out there than there already is because there's already amazing. Let's create more and more and more people feeling absolutely that they can do anything, be anything, and have everything they want to have um, in terms of making themselves intrinsically feel good. So this is where it starts. Stay with me. 
I want you to feel ridiculously alive. There is no better feeling in the world than that. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now because I could go on and on and on, especially because I just worked out. Again, uh, energy put out should equal me being exhausted, but it doesn't. Energy put out for a workout gives me more energy, as you can see. I could go run a marathon right now. Well, probably not a chain for that yet, but I feel like, like I could run like a complete, and I just put out an hour's worth of energy, and you should feel the same. And if you don't yet, you're like, well, Lindsay, I don't feel like that. Trust me, you will soon. You're gonna have this buzz moment and halfway through the workout, you're gonna go, whoa, what was that? And you're like, you're gonna feel ridiculous. It does not make sense. It's counterintuitive in every sense of the word, but guess what? That's what happens and that's why people get addicted to exercise. I'm gonna say it every time I exercise and I feel it, because I feel it every time, but I'm gonna say it and say it and say it so that you guys can remember that if you need energy, and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna work out, I'm gonna conserve my energy, do the opposite, work out and get some energy, okay? So counterintuitive, but do it. All right, legs together, Lindsay's zipping her trap, and I want you guys to come down right here like this. That's gonna stretch out your groin area that we really, really stretched out when we did the side slides, right? Not the backwards ones, but the side ones. You're gonna feel that in your groin area, and you're also gonna get a good lower back stretch, which I just came from my chiropractor. Dr. David Littman is hands down one of the best chiropractors I've ever seen. He's in this feed, because he offers something to all of you guys, a, a free consultation, um, and he is my chiropractor. Um, I do some work with him. He is, um, I had a, a, a session with him today, it was 45 minutes. He is just, he is, he gets every single part of your body, and it doesn't have to be an adjustment. He just, he uses all these modalities to loosen and, and make me feel, get the energy flowing again, just spectacular. So if you live in the Boca area and you need a phenomenal uh, chiropractor, he's our guy, really, he's our guy. I thank God for him. He's wonderful. Okay, guys, open up. And you can, if you have, he's probably messing me on the base number. All right, guys, come down here. And he's also pushed, you can put in Dr. David Lipman, and you'll see his videos in our, we did months and months ago. He joined here, and he did a couple of videos for us to show us how to stretch properly. Um, and, and he was offering some wonderful things, which a lot of the clients in here, a lot of my people in here took him up, and they met with him. They met with him virtually. You can even meet with him virtually. Awesome. And over to the other side, just stretch out everything. That's awesome. Come on your side, on your back, rather. Guys, and let's drop this. This is my favorite stretch on the planet. I don't know why it is, but it is. Let's drop both feet this way, and you're gonna feel this stretch all the way into your, um, your SI joint, which is you know at the top of your pelvic girdle, right here, and hold it down. So what I do is I took the bottom leg and put it on top of the top leg, which really stretches out your TFL on the side here of your thigh, and then it goes all the way up into your hip, and then onto the side into your SI joint in the back of your pelvic girdle. It gives you an amazing, an amazing stretch, even a little bit in the hip flexors here on the side. All right, so stick it there for a second, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. All of these should be done on your own afterwards, especially if you're sore. You may be a little sore this morning or tomorrow morning if you have not, and the next day, if you guys have not done these ever with me before. This is, you'll be sore in uh, the connection between your booty and your hamstring, and you'll be sore in your quads. And that's all good, <laughs> all right? It's amazing. Okay guys, are we ready? And last one, number four stretch, really, really important. Push this away from you, so I'm pulling this leg in as close to my body as I can, like pushing it out. That's gonna stretch out all of here. Oh, you can even just do it this way, but push it away, and then switch. Bring your leg as close to your body as you can. This one, this one, the one supporting, and then push the one that's resting on the other one away from you. So it's a push and pull, okay? Push and pull. No, pull and push. <laughs> All right, we are done like dinner. Are you ready? Okay, guys, so amazing. I am so proud of you guys. That was not an easy workout. And I know a lot of you guys are doing this today. Uh, today is Tuesday, and a lot of you guys are doing this on a Wednesday, so you can keep up with my crazy schedule. I never, ever know what time I'm gonna do it. I rush between clients, and I'm rushing back out right now to go to the beach um, and train. Have an amazing day. Thank you for joining me. I'm so proud that you're with me. I hope I'm making a difference in your life. And if you like this video, share it, okay? Love you guys.